Alright, so this is going to be a review for Highlander the Raven, the spin-off series which featured uh, the character Amanda, uh, giving her her own show. Um, the, the last time that I touched anything to do with Highlander was about a year and a half ago, and I originally had wanted to put off doing this series, but I felt it would just be better to go ahead and say what I wanted to say about it and just get it out of my system. Uh, I still have the animated series, which I have not watched in its entirety, but wanted to review, but just hadn't gotten around to, you know, finish watching it either. So, if there's a point to where I come up and review that, uh, look for it sometime on down the line. But, on to the Raven itself. Um, Highlander the Raven, uh, the series itself which took place in between the end of the regular series with Duncan and before the Endgame movie came along is not the worst thing that they came out with as far as a lot of the Highlander sequels uh, in their franchise, but it's also the most forgettable. Um, if I have to equate the this series with, you know, matching it with the movies, uh, this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much Highlander three, but for the TV series. Um, because what happens in here is that we are spun off with Amanda, who is taken to moving to Paris, and she's dyed her hair blonde and is living under a living under a different name. It's still the same name, Amanda Dubois, but she's uh, kind of just you know hanging around, and she winds up hooking up with this cop and they sort of have this friendship that goes throughout here which is sort of a crime drama and a little bit of a fantasy series which has taken place. Um, and it's also one of the most mediocre shows I've ever watched. I'm sorry to any diehard fans that love the, sh the series but to me uh, it's really mediocre. I mean like season six is of the the Duncan series is the worst thing that they spun out as far as the television stuff goes, but somehow mediocrity is so much more worse than just consistently bad. Um, she winds up hooking up with this cop, and she sort of becomes like buddy-buddy with him, and there's a, a romance blooming in between them. And the series winds up doing nothing more than just beating a dead horse and uh, taking everything that the producers apparently thought was good about the original series and trying to copy it in here as much as possible. Uh, when I say that, um, the biggest thing that I can think of that they copied out of uh, the series is uh, the twist at the end of the show for uh, Nick, the cop that Amanda is becoming involved with. Uh, basically, if you watch season two and you know how they did the twist that Richie wound up being immortal, uh, it's the same thing here, but it's just done much more horribly, and besides the fact that it ends on a just a very bad cliffhanger, it doesn't really help things either. Um, and the episodes themselves are just... It was hard for me to get through, because I'm going to be honest, there, um, a guy that I work with is also a big Highlander fan, and he had loaned me the DVD or loan me the series. It was 22 episodes, and I watched uh, maybe six of them. So I can't really judge the series in its entirety. If there were any good moments in here, I missed them just because it was hard to get into. Uh, I tried the first... I tried the first four episodes, um, and it was, it was a real struggle to get through them, so I kind of flashed ahead because uh, nobody from the other series pops in other than Joe Dawson. And there's kind of this two-parter where Amanda has a, a fight with another immortal who happens to be the guy who played Kronos in the other series. Uh, and it doesn't amount to much. It was, it was a big two-parter where she may or may not have wound up dying and she somehow decapitates him with uh, some Chinese fans, which I can't really wrap my head around that. I mean, I had a hard time understanding how Duncan could decapitate someone with a spear in uh, season three of his show, but uh, I, I swallowed it much easier than I did this. Uh, and unfortunately, they didn't really do as much with Joe as they could have. Um, 
so the first four episodes were a blunder, the two-parter was a blunder, and then uh, the finale, which... Uh, the, the entire thing about Amanda, there was... They, they kind of had somebody that they built up as a female version of Callus for this season for her, and it was executed horribly, and... Um, well, basically, this character was just a, re uh, a minor reoccurring villain in, like, two episodes, from what I understand. And she's kind of like uh, Xavier St. Cloud, where she uses, like, poison gas, and Amanda, knowing Nick Wolf is immortal, actually winds up letting him die to become immortal so that they can be together. And then that kind of backfires on her, and he says that I can't love somebody that I have to wind up killing in the game. And he just leaves her like that, and... <laughs> for a character who, you know, kind of straddled the line between funny and, you know, irritating from the original series, uh, I kind of wish that they had done something much more better, and, you know, the last appearance that you have of Amanda is her looking like a total idiot for having pulled a stunt like that. I mean, somebody has been alive for over a millennium, and this is what they resort to for love. Uh, but, you know, that, that's just my quip. Um... The series is largely forgotten. Uh, anybody who's not really familiar with Highlander who's watching this now probably won't give a damn about it. Uh, but for the most diehard fans, I'm sorry, but it's just the way that I feel about this series. It's, I mean, like, there, <laughs> I mean, there are a few funny things in here, but the mediocrity leans more towards the side of terrible than uh, any type of positive that I can find out with the series. Um, unless you're just an absolutely diehard Highlander fan, or a fan of the Amanda character, yeah, you might look into this. I think they might have some episodes up on Hulu, but otherwise, I really could not recommend this series.